Right, we've just come across quite a few hollies. There's a great big memorial area here. I've got to do it quite quick because there's um, a wedding about to take place. So here we've got um, in loving memory of Elisa Holly, died May the 13th, 1920, looks like three, age 77. Also Albert Holly, who died December the 11th, 1937, age 90. So that's one then. There are some more back there, by the way. I'll go back to them in a minute. But this is the big memorial. Then we've got here, that would have had a very big thing on the top. Loving mem remembrance of my dear husband and our dear father, Frederick Holly, who departed this life November the 14th. Uh, it's got to be 1896, age 36. Thy will be done. He, this is a chap that got killed on the railway. Um, and he would have had, on this pillar here, something bigger I should imagine or it was rounded off um, and this is very hard to see in loving memory of my dear <sighs> something it could be sons brothers Clifford Holly he was killed in action in France on July the 20th 1916 age 25 Bertie Holly he was killed in action in France on April the 11th, 1917, is 23. They sleep in death far from home. They... something... soldiers. They laid their young lives down that others might be saved I think <sighs> by the wife and children of the above F Frederick Holly And there's a Elisa there and Albert. And here it Oh, there's, and I'll do this one next door. In loving memory of Gilbert Valentine Shepherd, who entered into rest 12th of April 1950 to 76. He was church warden 1920 to 1934. Mary's wife. Well, I'll just do these at the moment because. Just do a rear view as well. Oh, there's something else written on the side. Also, his son Frederick Holly, who passed away June the 13th, 1930, could be one, age 34. Oh, it's a quite a big monument, isn't it? Quite a big monument. All right, let's just go and have a look up here a minute. Before the wedding arrives. <laughs> There's going to be a wedding in a minute. Don't want me talking in the background, will they? <laughs> Here's the old crosslet. This will be the old Saxon Dorman, whatever. To the glory of God and in memory of the men of this parish who fell in the Great War, 1914-1919. And there's a picture of the church on this side as well. I said there's going to be a wedding in a minute, so I'm going to try and keep out the way.
Poor Stephen Reed. Same, same as you saw her. St Peter and All Hallows, Huntsville. I'll go back to. There's a big wedding going on, so I want to get that bit done before that all starts. I need to take photos as well. Some of these, this would have all been here when the when the Holy ancestors were here, and there's somebody looking after these graves. There's somebody looking after these graves. come back to this area in a minute. I'll just go and do the other grave a minute. Oh, a minute. Let me just do this one. In loving memory of dear wife and mother, Frida Richardson, passed away the 20th of October 2002, age 79. We have got Richardsons in the family, just in case. This is one of them. granddaughter Corin. Here's another one here, Richard Roy Richardson as well. So it's worth doing those. Uh, I'll just go back to the one I found a minute ago, which is over here. Lovely flowers, by the way. Look at these beautiful flowers right above Violet Holly's grave. Look at that, isn't it? Look, isn't that pretty? You might not be able to see it. This camera's not very good, I find, in certain... But it's very, very pretty flowers on this tree. Above Violet Holly, look. Treasured memories of Violet Holly, 1919 to 2006. A loving wife, mother, grandma, and great grandma. So somebody's actually looking after these graves, by the way. I'm going to. I think I've done a photo of these. I might take some more in a minute. There's a lovely tree. Beautiful tree there. Look above her. There. And then if I go back over here, I found a World War Two. I think it's World War Two. It could have been World War One. Soldier's grave. I don't remember where it is. Oh, I can see it from here. This is just showing you around the graveyard as well. I don't know what it'll turn out like, I've got a clue, but I have found several holly graves and there will be related family names that I'll have to do on another occasion. There will be related names that are related to these holly families, like what maiden names and that of other families. Now here we've got um, 1409339 LDG um, Aircraftman L.R. Holly Royal Air Force He died Looks like the 17th of December 1945 Right at the end of the war Look, Age 24 So he's a young Holly there We've just missed this beautiful plant in 
this beautiful tree here when it's in flower which it was not long ago um, it's, it's like a big carpet almost like I said I'm keeping a bit of a low profile at the moment because I'm going back to take some pictures of that large memorial and I like I said I do need to see there's a Vaughan in here and, and Richardson's they're linked on my granddaughter's side um, I'm just going to go back and take some photos of the big memorial, Holly Memorial. Right, over and out for now.